What's up guys and welcome back to another Adrift Fishing video. In this episode, I catch up with a good mate of mine, Jason. With some impending weather approaching South Australia, we hitched the boat up, headed north to try and escape this weather cell that was approaching and found ourselves an absolute oasis of weather that was super calm. It was, it was incredible. Aside from just going fishing, we had no real goal in what we're going to achieve up there, aside from maybe looking for salmon. Having not really fished this area before, decided to do a little bit of surveying and scouting using a conjunction of active target and structure scan to just work out the area, the contours, the depths, and just see what was hanging around. We found multiple schools of salmon that would sort of come in waves here and there. Let's turn the active target, see where they are. Oh, massive school. So we decided to start targeting some of these salmon. And the two methods that we were using was one to throw some Z-mans on some half ounce jig heads. And we caught quite a few salmon doing that. However, what worked a lot better than that was using some 20 to 40 gram jigs and casting them out to these schools, bringing them back through, working them through the school. Oh, and it. these salmon just couldn't yep. resist. They were all over it. <laughs> oh, wow, scrappy ass. <laughs> yeah bro, just out in front of us. Oh that's fun. That front being here or straight ahead, 10 meters. Yeah, they're still on the side. They're still on the um, active target. Feeding too. Oh yeah. No hesitation. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Boys on. Okay, okay. Man, look at that. Solid, eh? Solid. So the plan was this weekend we were supposed to go to York's, but the weather just completely blew up, turned to crap, and uh, it's blowing sort of 15 knots plus all day. So we've come up here just for something to do because it looked like the only pocket of nice weather for the day. And I reckon we found ourselves a nice big ball of salmon. So we're gonna have a few fun hours here, chuck around whatever we can. Try and get some bust ups. Get some solid salmon. Winning. Nice, right, see how this goes. Alright, so there's a 40 gram weasel. 40 gram ocean angler weasel I'm chucking on now. And that's what was working before, so we'll chuck that out now. See if we can get a few more. With this many salmon around, we just couldn't help getting excited and chucking lures around and chasing these fish. It was a heap of fun. And with the active target, once we'd lost the fish, it didn't take too long to find them. We just scanned around, found them on the active target, chuck another jig in, and we we're on. Yep. Oh, yep. There we go. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Mid stroke, mate. Mid stroke. Oh, good salmon, mate. There we go, jigging up some nice salmon. Ooh. Ah, another salmon, I reckon. Nice, right? Yeah, solid. Oh, right. oh yeah. Found the salmon, man. Oh, a good sized salmon, eh? And look, while it was great fun, I did eventually get bored of it. And we decided to go and explore some other areas. When York Peninsula blows up, I'm gonna go chase the salmon. We found some nice sand flats and shallow bays, and we decided to send the drone up to get a bird's eye view. Hopefully find some stingrays. I have seen, on occasion, salmon cruising on the back of stingrays. 
in those situations, I have chucked a lure over them and had salmon peel off and chase a lure and get hooked up. And it's a heap of fun, very similar to what they do with kingfish over in New Zealand around Tauranga in the South Island. Um, very similar, obviously, for salmon, not for kingfish, but hey, who's complaining when you pull a fish off a stingray? It's excellent fun. But in this particular situation, we didn't find any stingray, so we went back to where we were, decided to have a look for some more salmon, but this time, I'm gonna do some micro jigging. Just chucking around a few 14 gram tungsten jigs, like this little flea here, and the salmon loved it. So I'm just going over to a micro jig, thinking we'll give that a bit of a whirl. So we can find just prospect around. There's been some schools cruising here and there. Well, it's nice because it gives us another arm. Um, oh, yep, had a hit on the drop. Yep, there we go. I felt that hit when I had a big belly of line in the air as it was sinking. Oh, I reckon that's a salmon. Oh, yeah. That'll be a salmon. Oh, I always love a bit of light jigging. It's just good fun, eh? Oh my god, how far out did I cast? <laughs> <laughs> I think I cast it. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I definitely cast it out a lot further than I thought. Now I'm going to be in for a battle. It's when the scrap begins, eh? They got such a light drag, these um, Emeraldas, so. Eh? Yeah, with, with, with the light rods, definitely. In the net, buddy. Get that out of here. Flea? Later, yep. On the flea. 